Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we have uh, a very nice game uh, from the history of chess. It's been played by uh, Mr. Alexander Alekin. He's uh, one of the best chess players uh, ever born actually. Uh, this guy, he was playing a simultaneous chess, like he was playing against 24 players at the same time. On 24 boards, uh, and it's a uh, blindfold chess, so he doesn't see any board, any any one of them. Uh, and even then, it was with, with, with like the, with all these difficulties, like you can see the boards, the 24 of them. He still be able to make such a wonderful game, uh, and it's one of the best uh, games in chess history, actually, based on the circumstances. Uh, the game played in New York, 1924, between Alekin and Freeman. And Freeman was actually a decent player. I mean, he's not like a world champion, I mean, but he's a decent player. He played well in the game. But uh, Alekin, like, he did uh, such a great job. So he just got set forward to it. It's, it's a really nice game. Uh, e4, E5, and Alekin said to play D4 here. He takes D4, C3. And uh, this is called the center game. And if you go DC3 here, white can play bishop c4. And we call this a Danish ga the Danish gambit. But uh, Mr. Freeman played d5. Take, take, and then take back. And yes, boy, uh, white has an isolated ball on d4, but we talk about asymmetrical chess. So we're looking for attacks, stuff, stuff like that. Bishop b4 check by uh, Freeman, knight c3 by Alekine, knight c6, knight f3, knight f6, and bishop e2, very nice development, uh, white is ready to castle next, uh, and if, if he does, let's say if you go castle or for black, white will go castling, then look at the, at the queen here, the queen is about to go with the knight, unless you do something, unless you move the queen or take the, the knight, uh, here, just to be precise, the best move here, but now this game actually is in 1924, the best, the best move here is queen a5. This is if we are now in 2021. But back in the, back in the time, this is like uh, 90 years old game, so even more than 90 actually, it's 97 years old game. Uh, for my blade, bishop c3, bc3, and then he castled. Yeah, he kind castled. And then b6. Uh, and uh, Freeman ready to go to bishop, four, uh, bishop, uh, bishop b7 next. c4. Queen d8. And uh, look at Alikain. I mean, he's playing like he's actually looking at the board. d5. Pushing the knight back. Knight e7. Now he's putting the knight in d4. Very nice play. And he opened all this diagonal. This is really a really nice job. Bishop b7. Bishop b2, and now Freeman blade c6. Uh, Freeman idea is very simple. He thinks that if Alikan can just take, maybe, and he will take, you know, and everything is fine. I mean, everything is level here, uh, and still Alikan has uh, this uh, one week on, on c4. However, we have uh, a very nice player here called Alikan, so he played bishop f3. I'm going to show this in details. Uh, it seems that Alekin is didn't see what he's doing. He doesn't, like, didn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. Because, yes, you have a, a bone under attack. And you bring the bishop to defend it. But, wait a minute. We have a knight. Another knight. And the bone also attacking. And there's a bishop. So, all these pieces, you can't just stop them with one bishop. No way. Like You are not defending the bone. So uh, Freeman thought, okay, let's just take the pawn. Maybe he didn't see it. Why not? I mean, he's playing Simtano's chess, blindfold, 24 games at the same time. I mean, he's going to make something wrong. You know what I mean? And he can play Duke one He didn't make a mistake. He, he knows what he's doing. First of all, the, the E file is under his control. And if you go DC4 to take the other pawn, your bishop is gone. So, what next? Okay, by Freeman. And Freeman, over here, Doing a good job. He's defending his position, position very well. So, at this point, the position is level. Like, I mean, Freeman, not really, he didn't like make any uh, mistakes or any blunders or anything. I mean, he's doing a good job. This is 
a level position completely equal. Alkain played queen d2, and he's putting the basha on the on the on this diagonal. Uh, so Freeman played rook b8, defending the bishop. Now Freeman is ready to play dc4 next, and if you go bishop b7, he will take you back. All good. So Alkain played queen g5. Didn't really actually care about uh, the ball on c4 at all. And he's saying to uh, Freeman, be careful. There is an attack with the queen and there's a bishop coming this way. So you're going to be careful, buddy. So here, knight g6 being played by uh, Freeman, blocking this, uh, this uh, complete attack. And now, I can play knight f5, putting, bringing another beast to the attack. I was asking myself this question when I was looking at the game. Is this guy really playing blindfold chess? Like, for real? Like, what? No mistakes. He not, doesn't, miss, doesn't miss anything. I mean, we miss moves actually while we're looking at the board. I mean, this is just really crazy. Anyway, at this point, uh, Freeman made his first mistake. And when I say mistake, I'm not saying, oh, he made a blunder or like he lost his queen for free or nothing. No. He has to find a very difficult move to find just to keep the game level. He has to play knight e4 here. And of course, this is after a good analysis to the position. Now, on the board, you have to play once your turn comes in. Uh, and after exchanging queens and maybe bishop g7, the position is equal. This is how it should go. But it's not easy to play th this way. It's really difficult. Now, what Alkine did, what uh, Freeman did, he played Duke e1 check, and this is the move that I'm talking about. It's not the best move in the position. And after Duke e1, Alkine actually is controlling the a file now. And this is a difficult situation now. Now, here Freeman did something very strange. I think he didn't really calculate very well. What he did is he played d takes c4. Thinking that, okay, I'm going to take a pawn from Alakine. If he take my bishop, I'll take him back. And I have two extra pawn. Uh, after, and then, after bishop, B, uh, bishop B7, everything looks fine. Everything simply looks fine. And this rook can't even move from here. If the rook move anywhere, there's a mate. Right on the spot. So, what to do? Alakine played bishop f6. And here is the beauty of the game. If a Freeman took here, Alika will play queen f6, thinking mat, mate in one. If you get if you go queen f8, rook e8, hallelujah, the game's over. So Freeman decided to do something different. After bishop f6, he played queen f6. And asking Alakan, okay, now what? What do you want to do? If there's anything else left for you, man? The question is, there is something left. Ali Khan here, in this particular position, announced mate in four. A blindfolded. He didn't see the board. <coughs> so, excuse me. Uh, if you like to pause the video for five seconds, ten seconds, whatever you want, I'll just pause it. I try to find the best move for white, uh, and which leads to mate in four. By force. There is no solution for this. It's like now it's like a study actually. It's it's amazing. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully you guys found the solution. Ali can here play Duke 8. Knight f8, knight f6 check, queen at 6, look f8 check, king f8, mate. Simple like that. Amazing game by Alkine. Mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing game. I don't know what to say about this guy. Such an amazing guy to watch, and we're gonna sh show more games for him. Like he, he's such such a, a player. I, we don't have any players like this these days. So creative, so his imagination imagination is unbelievable. Hope you guys like the game. Uh, this amazing, wonderful game. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel if you like the video. And we guys are gonna see you later. See you guys. Bye bye.